Working on a 2002 GMC today. This is a 2500 4x4 and we're going to do an upper ball joint. Apparently this was at the alignment shop and uh, they said there's some play in it. And uh, I guess the boot is ripped as well. The bend pack's got no problem uh, lifting up this gigantic truck. Here's the upper ball joint we're going to put in. You can see uh, this is a press fit. On inspection of the one that's in there you can see uh, there's a gap underneath it. I don't know if it's loose or it wasn't pressed in all the way. We'll get to the bottom of that. The first thing we're going to do is uh, take the tension off the torsion bar. To do that, we're going to loosen this nut on this cross member. That's held in by a keeper up there. So we'll back that all the way out. Here we got a 19 mil socket on it. He's uh, counting the turns so we can put it back pretty close to where it was. You can see the key is bottomed out on the keeper here, so that's all we can take off of it without actually taking the keeper out. Now I'm going to put a stanchion underneath this lower control arm just to uh, make sure it doesn't spring down. We want to be able to get this thing back together without big difficulties. This can all be done with a floor jack, but uh, we don't need that because we've got this set up. Here he's taking the nut off the upper ball joint. Okay, I got the pickle fork shoved in here. Put a little bit more tension on with the, uh, the jack to try to lift it up some. And the pickle fork's actually upside down. Decided we better go ahead and unclip this uh, line here. Because we're going to have to swing this uh, control arm up for the press. Here he's taking the nut off. We ended up having to put a needle nose on the uh, stud of the ball joint because it was spinning in there. It might pop a little bit when it completely comes off, so beware. Coming right now. <coughs> Good deal. There it goes. And there it goes. With it separated, I was able to take all the tension off the lower control arm. And uh, we're going to lower it down some now and set up the press to press this old ball joint out. The original ball joint here did not have a snap ring on it. The new one comes with a snap ring, so beware if you go to press it out. Make sure that's off if it had one. We're going to use a ball joint press here to press that out. I like to lube up the threads in my press for a press. Here's our press setup. You see we're actually going to force the ball joint up into this cup. Let's crank it down with the uh, ratchet here. It wasn't pressed in very tight, I felt it pop out already. There it is. So here's the old ball joint. You can see it's a little loose. Turns out uh, there's actually an opening for a hex in the bottom, so we didn't really even need a vice grip there. And we're going to make sure it's the same part. Got about 1.815. And the new one on the splines is about the same. They're also about the same length. So uh, we'll go ahead and clean the control arm up and uh, press it in. This ball joint is actually directional, installed inboard. Here's our setup for pressing it in. Wow, that was a really easy press. Too easy, huh? Too easy. Is that why the other one was popping out? Could be. That's not good. Because the press isn't so easy, we're going to go ahead and uh, Put a couple beads of weld on it to make sure it stays in there. Another solution might be a slightly oversized ball joint or a new control arm. Here's the ball joint uh, tacked in there. You can see we had the zircon and covered, so crap didn't get in there. And actually, when we replaced the other side uh, a couple months ago, you notice it was welded in. 
possibly have the same problem over there. We put a Moog Balls engine over there though and uh, it's holding fine without weld. Here's the uh, snap ring. I got it in a snap ring pliers. Make sure you have safety glasses on when you do this. And uh, got that into place. I got quite a distance to bridge here on this knuckle to this ball joint. I might crank up on the stanchion a little bit to close it up some, see if I can get the, uh, the nut started. Here's the nut. Looks like it has an attached Belleville type washer to it. I'll see if I can get that started. Trying to tighten the nut on the new one and uh, it turns out the shaft is spinning on the new one as well. So we're going to use the Allen key. We couldn't get an Allen socket in there and a wrench. We'll probably put a torque wrench on it in the end to try to torque at the spec. Here we're uh, fixing this wire back on the control arm. We uh, masked the zerk, painted the ball joint so it doesn't rust. We're going to go ahead and grease everything on the truck and uh, set the torsion arm back to where it was. And uh, that's about a wrap for the ball joint video. Thanks for watching.